Well, a new study by a Minneapolis company looks at women and the American dream. Women Wise talked to 800 women and found 73% of, of them think their idea of the dream has actually changed over the past decade. Well, joining us to talk more about the study are Women Wise's Dory Molitor and Twin Cities publicist Sally Crowell, who's one woman who can relate to the changing American dream. Good morning to both of you, and thanks for Good being morning. among us. And what were some of those things? I mean, I think it's easy to say, well, our opinions have changed over the last decade, but as I was kind of going over some of the questions, like, wow, yeah, you know, 10 years ago, I would have thought something totally different than what I think now. What were some of the insights you kind of drew from this? Yeah, well, um, one would be, like, the whole dream of the white picket fence has vanished. Mm -hmm. um, it's no longer about having a husband and two children and living in suburbia and that being part of our dream, which always was part of the American dream for a very long time. Now, only 15% of our women ranked um, owning a house as number one or number two most important in their life. And it looks like the idea of the perfect man has changed. Prince Charming, oh, not so much anymore. We don't huh? need Prince Charming. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, women are more confident, more self-reliant. She is um, holding more, over 50% of all high-paying professional positions. She's bringing in half of the household income. She's getting over half of the um, higher, higher level degrees in uh -huh. education. So as a result, Result, she still values values marriage. 46% of our women ranked marriage as number one or number two most important. Huh. But as you said, it's not Prince Charming. She's now looking not for a husband to complete her, uh -huh. but more as a partner, uh, someone to be a partner in her life, to be a champion in her corner, to be part of her ups and downs, and be an equal partner in every way, including dishes, diapers, and all of that. And so, Sally, you can kind of relate to some of this, right? Yes, definitely. Um, Ten years ago, exactly what you said, I. Uh, definitely didn't envision my life being what it is today. And I'm definitely more financially uh, independent and um, looking more, because I had the big house, the white picket fence, mm -hmm. and the Prince Charming. And I uh, really, uh, honestly, in, over the last 10 years, it wasn't as fulfilling. Huh. It wasn't, you know, exactly what I pictured my life as being, so. So would you say, it, knowing this, and I guess with the study, is it empowering? Is it a little bit sad, or is it happy? Or how does it, how, what's uh, your thoughts I, on that? I think it, it gives me a sense of security and a sense of fulfillment, definitely. Hmm. I feel much more fulfilled. Um, and I still have great kids and, you know, it's kind of about being able to have everything and, you know, enjoy social issues and being involved and the materialistic end, it's not as important as it was 10 years ago.